Speed of Life 89 here. Does it look like I just woke up? Because I kind of did. I got to go to the VMB and get the higher title done right here. Because I went out and I've been saving for a nice car just to mess around with. Kind of a toy, fast toy, and, and I got one. But I, I got up early because I couldn't sleep no more because I was having horrible dreams and you know how that can be. So I decided to go to DMV early and it's before noon. I, I don't really like being up before noon. <laughs> Man, I just got to DMV and I remember I hate their dang parking meters. They used to take nickels and dimes and all that nonsense on their parking meters. And the only parking meters in town is behind the DMV. They even took the ones out downtown. And they changed their stupid parking meters so they just take quarters now. So I have to put a whole quarter freaking in to get one hour's of time. And it don't take me one hour's of time. I'd rather put a dime in and get half an hour's of time. But whatever. Look at that shit. Paid for an hour, had a half hour on it, only used the half hour that came with it. That's a damn rip off, I tell you what. You know that? But, uh, boys, I finally made it out of there. It cost me. It cost me a lot. It cost me 80 bucks. But, we got it done and we got a stack of crap. And, well, I just got back from the getting stuff done. And, and Sue's gave me new ratchets. Well, Refurbished ravages and one had a little rust on it, which kind of pisses me off, but but that's okay. And I got fireworks And I got Wendy's and the Wendy's tried to kill me because their fries were molten hot and I burnt my tongue But that's okay. It's better than cold fries Hello, just filling up this Bobcat. This is a real pain in the ass. We need a freaking pump instead of using damn cans. to fill this shit up. I mean, what? They get a pump for a little jack. A pump would make my life so much easier instead of trying to hold a five gallon can up here for five minutes while it dumps out. Freaking ridiculous. I hate filling this thing up. I always put it off to the last minute. It would be so bad if the stupid gas caps wouldn't shut off on you all the time because they have the safety features with the EPA and these fancy little locks on them and then the crap shuts off when you're halfway filled up because you slip off the lever that holds it open. It's like how hard is to make a gas camp a vent on the back and a poor spout on the front. Now I just realized earlier I talked about my uh, tags that I had to get for my new car, but I never showed you a new car, you know, I'm, I'm a big Chevy fan, but I'm not really brand specific, I mean I like Dodge, I like Chevrolet, and there's even Ford, if a, if a car's uh, pretty much fast and it works nice and it looks nice, I'll, I'll go for it, I mean, they, they aren't all crap, there's no reason to hate on a specific brand, I mean, Sometimes they make shitty cars, and sometimes they make really good cars. But this one's not a Camaro for once in my life, and it's hard to believe, but, but I'll show you. It's a uh, 95 Mustang GT. And you're like, you done cocked up. what you get the Mustang GT for? So let me unlock this door, and I'll show you why. Sorry, I had to shut off the camera there for a minute, but somebody pulled up and went and talked to me, and I shut off the camera. But anyways, like I was saying, here is the motor that's in this Mustang. Look at that. It's a, uh, 
351 Windsor, 72. Has a big cam in it. Has a uh, it's header intake. Heads were done. Uh, carb. What else is on there? Ignition system. And uh, the gear ratio has been uh, changed on this, is what they tell me. But I'm gonna have to jack it up and check and see what the gear ratio is. And I might make another video and show you how to tell what your gear ratio on your car is if you don't know what it is already. But no, I'll, I'll start this up for you. And we'll show you what, what she sounds like. Sounds pretty sweet. If I do say so myself. Let me see here. And get the other key in. There we go. And... And anyways, that's the new car, and I might get up a video later and show you how to tell what your rear gear ratio is in your car. And as always, thanks for watching, and like, subscribe, share. Helps me out big time. Later.